the video five that I'm doing. It's Anne here, um, talking about the subject of CCSVI in relation to multiple sclerosis, and uh, wanting to do some research about, uh, you know, possibility of getting the procedure done, testing of the procedure done in New Zealand. Um, there's been a little bit of a gap between my last video and this one, just because I've ha sorry about that. I've had a little bit of a, an illness. Um, but anyway, I um, just wanted to kind of just have a small recap. My first few, first four videos were kind of around um, CCSVI and uh, studying, uh, researching the studies that have uh, been, you know, that have happened around CCSVI and trying to extrapolate the relevant information out of them. Um, I want to just say that. Uh, I'm frustrated like like everyone else because the um the, the the experts the experts being the neurologists and the scientists that are involved in uh, CCSVI uh, certainly seem to have dug their heels in and um, there's no movement from them from what I can from what I can see and from what I understand there's no movement from them in terms of CCSVI which I find hugely hugely disappointing. Um, I did some research and um, found that um, including the pilot study, which was the first study done on this thing, this, this subject by Zamboni, they've been all together about seven uh, studies, six of them published, one of them is in the process because there's three phases of that study and it's, so it's ongoing, they're about to commence phase two. Um, but the preliminary results of phase one came out, which were hugely promising, I thought. Um, and of the um, seven studies, two showed um, unfavorable results saying they're basically CCSVI and MS were not related. But the other studies had said that in fact they are related and some of them they, they were hugely positive showing that there was 90 plus percent of people with MS um, demonstrating that they actually had CCSVI. So I'm, I'm just very frustrated because um, you, you know the medical community is uh, digging their heels in. Anyway, um, what can I say? In this country, which is New Zealand, um, there is absolutely nowhere that I can see where you can get the testing and the procedure done um, with the exception of a vascular clinic in Christchurch. Now, that vascular clinic will perform a Doppler ultrasound of the jugular vein, um, but that's all they do. They don't, um, they don't do a venogram or, 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 or explore, explore uh, this further. Um, you know, they've had, they've had quite a few um, people, from what I understand, and um, I think the person that is the professor that is doing the procedure is fairly up on the play from what I understand that he does understand he does know what exactly what he's looking for when he performs the scan or when he reads the scan but other than that I can't tell you I was going to go down there but of course we had the huge earthquake um, that hit Christchurch I, uh, yeah, I didn't go down there um, he does a scan but he does not perform the procedure if you are shown to have CCSVR so that to, to me is really not very helpful um, there's nowhere else, as I say, that um, in this country that I know of that you can actually have both the scan and the procedure with confidence. And what I mean by that is um, the person that is performing the scan knows what to look for and the person who is reading the scan knows what they are looking for. Um, I have discovered that there's a doctor in New York called Dr. Sclafani, S C. L-A-F-I-N-I, -I, I think that's how you spell his name. And he has basically dedicated his entire career now to the cause of CCSVI because he hugely believes in it. And because of this, he's done a lot of scans and procedures and reads, reads them and, and he understands and knows what he's looking for. And if you are a person who's doing, who wants to perform this procedure or have this procedure performed, my advice to you is to go onto YouTube here and look up Dr. Sclafani and have a listen to the things that he has to say because he talks a lot about the stenoses and the different malformations that are found in the different veins. And also, please understand, veins are fickle things. They collapse 
um, they're not like arteries, they don't stay open, they tend to collapse. Um, so the person that is performing the scan needs to really know exactly what it is that they're looking for. And if they're qualified, obviously they will be qualified, um, they still may not um, know what it is that they're looking for, that the malformation is in relation to this disease and MS. So if they are going to undertake the scan, it's really important that they know exactly what it is that they're looking for and they probably need to do a little bit of research beforehand and it doesn't just end start and end at, at Zamboni at the, they need to see there's a lot involved here it's quite a complex thing um, and also too the person that is going to read the scan um, needs to know exactly what they're looking for so it's, it's just a huge thing so basically what I'm saying is, is that if you want to have this procedure in New Zealand, there's nowhere that I can see or with any confidence that you can go and have this scan. I don't know about Australia. I've heard that in Melbourne they were going to do um, a trial, so I'm not quite sure what happened to that. I've also heard rumours that they have closer gates on people from New Zealand, so I have no idea. I don't know if Australia is a go. But I do understand there's quite a few places in Australia that you do it. There's a place in Sydney, there's a place in Melbourne, there's a place in Perth. I even think there might be somewhere in Adelaide. There's quite a few places. So w where does that leave me? Well, I don't know. I'd like to find out more about it. I'd like to, um, I'd like to say that I could go to an interventional radiologist or a neuroradiologist and say, please do the scan. I'd also like to think that they'd be open-minded, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure that they would be. Uh, seems to be that um, there's, there, there, there's, there's an absolute hold on, on CCS now in this country. There are many, many people who do not believe that it has a place. I, I'm, I'm very annoyed about that because I believe the studies show that, that there is a place. There was, there, uh, sorry, I believe that the studies show that there absolutely is cause for further investigation and I really feel frustrated that they're not going to do that. So I think we're going to sit on the fence as we normally do, as we often do. We're going to sit on the fence and see what other countries do. And in the meantime, people like you and I are going to continue relapsing and getting ill. Um, as I said in one of my other videos, I think um, I said this, that healthcare is emotive. And, um, you know, um, I, I don't want to say that my MS is more important than somebody with cancer or diabetes or whatever, whatever other illnesses are out there um, but I am sitting here and saying that I'd like to think that um, there would be some movement on my illness and yeah just movement so again where does that leave me I don't know do I fly to Italy do I fly to Poland do I do I go to some one of these far-reaching countries that um, offers a procedure because I do not feel that I can afford to wait any bloody longer um, I'm going to keep getting sick and I'm going to keep relapsing and it's frustrating. This has, the CCSVI, the whole concept, um, I say concept for lack of a better word, the whole uh, hypothesis and theory to me is a massively exciting one and I'm annoyed that there's no movement on it. Don't know what to say to you guys and I'm really, really sorry, but in this country, there are, there's, a, there's a big lack of people that are trained and understand what they are looking for and what they are doing. And not only that, there is an absolute grinding halt on anything to do with CCSVI. In fact, in a lot of cases, uh, there is um, people saying that there's no such thing, denial, whatever you want to call it. And I'm frustrated. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. But I tell you what. I'm going to keep looking into this and if I do find a place here that we can you know go ahead and get the scans done with confidence and the, the readings of those scans done with confidence uh, I'll come back on here and I'll let you know so yeah anyway in the meantime if anybody else finds a place or finds somewhere that uh, you know does the scan and does the procedure and knows exactly what they're doing um, because they've done a little bit of research Please, um, you know, inform me if you can. I'm going to keep checking the inbox on this uh, uh, site that I have. And, uh, yeah, just let me know. Have a really good day.